Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. The skill tree rework is about to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, Gun just announced this, guys. I've not read it yet, but it does say rip random nodes in the skill tree rework. Let's go ahead. Let's check out the hub, man. And let's take a look at what this is all about because we've got some changes coming. So it does say from removing random nodes to perk rearranging, dive into how our team is tackling the skill tree reworks. Our team has been taking the time to look through every character's skill trees in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre to better the player experience. Random nodes have been a point of frustration for the community, and we have been listening to feedback about some of your favorite characters and perks they have access to. We let our team cook, and we are happy to unveil one aspect of our skill tree reworks in our 6-11-2024 update, which of course you guys know is that's also the day of hands. Firstly, we are removing random nodes entirely from every playable character's skill trees. With the random node removals, a dedicated perk is replacing it. For example, the first random node to the right on Sissy's skill tree will be replaced with the perk activated. This way, players can respec freely without worrying about needing to respec multiple times to get a perk that they want. When you load into a game for the first time after this update, all character skill trees will be reset, like a respec, and perk levels will remain the same. Players can go through the new skill trees... Oh, just a second, guys. Lost it there. Players can go through the new skill trees to uh, and explore to find a build that fits their playstyle. The team designed the metagame to leave some elements randomized, hoping to create opportunities for a surprise score in the skill tree by way of perk unlock. The random nodes unfortunately did not work out that way, and many players expressed frustrations at these nodes, wanting to just re-roll until a specific perk could be obtained. After a lot of examination and iteration, the team has decided to replace the random nodes fully with perks we think will keep the trees fair and balanced, but also some opportunity for better build diversity and synergy. After a lot of examination and iteration, this change also leaves us in a better position to balance around emerging metas, shuffle up the most common builds, and introduce new perks in the future. So it's not simply about removing the random nodes, but the bigger picture of better management of skill trees for what we see as a long life for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is by Matt Chacha, Brand Strategy of Gun Interactive. While this change will be a lot for the community to take in and get accustomed to, we know there will be uh, more still to do on this front. And so, the team is still head down, working further on refining perks in-game. In the near future, we have changes coming to how Grandpa perks function in Unlocking Game. We also will be keeping an eye out for opportunities to shift perks around, rework perks, or replace perks entirely. We have been considering introducing some new unique perks for certain characters where applicable and necessary. Wow, so that is a lot to take in, guys. The game that we currently play may be kind of drastically changing. Ladies and gentlemen, so they did mention, you know, they did listen to us about removing the random rules because they know that it's basically just time consuming. You're just going to sit there and keep respecking until you get the role you want anyway. So there's really no point even having the random nodes in there. They listened to that. However, what I did not expect uh, was for them to just put one of the random perks in a set position in that spot. Like, for instance, like they did mention six, Sissy with Activated, so they're going to put a set perk where the random perk should be. So this might shake up the meta quite a bit. As we do know, a few of the random perks on some of the characters, such as Leatherface, you know, with the violent um, and hysterical strength and things like that, you may not be able to get these perks with, you know, your big swings anymore or your scout anymore or some of the random perks like scout on Hitchhiker. You may not be able to get some of these speed builds with Hitchhiker, like with Wired Frame, Scout and Fired Up. That may just not be possible anymore. And the same with the victims as well. Uh, you look at some of the extra drip or, you know, no cells or different things like that, stunt doubles that you're getting on these victims, you may not be able to get them on the side of the tree that you want to go anymore, which I think is incredibly awesome. The meta of this game is definitely going to majorly shift, probably, once this skill tree rework is implemented. It all depends on where the perks are going to be set on the tree. So that is, guys, the end of set, or should I say random perks for 
uh, survivor and victim. I mean, if you want to go ahead and change your skill tree and you pass a perk, you got to, you're taking what that perk is. Uh, there's going to be no randomness to it. And I'm okay with that. And also they did mention about how grandpa perks function and unlock in the game. Um, I think this is good too. I don't know exactly what that means, but I am hoping that, uh, with the grandpa perks, maybe we can choose which grandpa perk is going to start first. Uh, as opposed to, you know, waiting till level three for suffocating grip or exterior alarms or, you know, well, 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 or whatever perks you like. Um, there's going to be some reworks there. And also they said that they may be changing perks on different characters. So I'm loving it, guys. This team, this here with the skill tree rework is telling me that this team is still very, very dedicated to this game. And they want to shift it up. They want to shift it up. And again, I think they want to make it, you know, less sweaty and trolly and all that stuff with all these crazy builds that you can get on some of these characters so it remains to be seen but i'm pretty happy about it and i'm welcoming it we'll see whenever hands gets here uh it is coming with hands so he's gonna have a fresh skill tree with no random perks as well <laughs> so we shall see ladies and gentlemen six more days till hands comes out there you go skill tree rework coming in let me know your guys thoughts down below man this is a lot to talk about a lot to take in and uh we'll be uh We'll definitely be testing it, man. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, with that said, guys, my name is Sergeant Moose. Thanks so much for tuning in to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre content. Guys, we're always doing it here on the channel, so feel free to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Take care.